Often we may look at the tree hole that is above ground, but we don't often think about what might be beneath the tree where the roots are expanding. My name is Natalie. I'm the founder of Little Creatures. We do a lot of um, experimentation and exploration with sounds. Hutan came about as an idea because I was really interested in exploring the magical, enchanted nature of a forest to explore the relationship between myself and nature. I'm Lynette. I work across various visual and uh, audio art forms, mostly involved in tech and production individually and in collaborative uh, forms. And I think this interplay creates a very fresh experience for visitors on every visit because there are so many prompts, there are so many interactions that would actually alter, say, the soundscape, the visuals. Hi, my name is Javon uh, and I work on art projects across the contemporary and performing arts. I like to rearrange things in my mind. If you rearrange the letters, you can also form other words which are Coincidentally, or not, uh, also quite resonant with Hutan. If you spell it H-A-N-T-U, that's Hantu. And then you can rearrange it again to form like Tuhan, which means God. And the other one is also Tahun, which is years. But once we realise that those other words can be made by rearranging the letters, we realise that actually all these different elements can also be incorporated into the work. The idea of journeying through a forest or journeying through Hutan is something that we're looking to explore. I think Hutan is an opportunity to kind of collaborate with the space, collaborate with our work, to just be in the space and exist in that very moment. So I've been working with the gallery for a couple of years now, presenting a program called Town Makers by Little Creatures, where it's a bit of a performance workshop-based program that parents and their children are invited to explore with sounds, um, sonic objects and ideas, with me as a facilitating sound artist. A large part of that is also relating it to a natural environment rather than a built-up environment. Children exist in that state of being, right? They exist spontaneously, they exist moment to moment, they exist in play. So it's important for me to also allow parents, together with their children, to kind of experience just this moment of being there and also being close to this created, imagined space of nature. There'll be proximity mics, there will be piezo mics that pick up these interactions from the visitors that eventually forms like a very big archive of interactivity within the installation that fits into the soundscape. Getting people to think more attentively about the here, that, that is one of our aims of the installation, which is why also all the interactive elements, I think in a sense, is also to alert people to the presence of other beings in the space. So our chandelier basically is that seed, and that seed um, is potential, right? It's hope and we can imagine what grows above and beyond it rather than just thinking about hutan or forest that we are so familiar with. So I think one part about hutan as a work and talking about trees is that the tree is really a space that allows for ecosystems to grow. So one way I hope to make the world a better place is through this kind of collaboration between all of us or all these different entities and allow us to be more mindful towards one another. For me, I really hope that the space is a place for adults and parents to remember themselves as children and I hope that they will leave the space feeling calm and contented uh, happy at the place where they are in at that very moment.